Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. So this video is going to be the first video of a series of videos. It's three videos all together. And on these videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my custom birthday feather dresses from scratch. So in this video, which is part one of the videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put together the sewing patterns. Okay, it's super simple, super easy. And the second video is going to be how to cut the fabric and then we're going to go into how to sew the dress so to get my sewing patterns if you are interested in making my custom dresses you will go ahead and head over to my website creativecraftingllc.com i'm going to go ahead and leave the link down below to make it easy for you guys and you'll go down to where it says sewing patterns now i just began to put up my digital sewing patterns so i only have a few sizes up right now in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the 12 month size dress but the patterns are instant downloads so once you purchase it you'll be able to check out to download it instantly from your checkout box okay and you can go ahead and pick which sizes you want the patterns are currently on sale for 25 percent off so definitely go ahead and get your patterns okay so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the 12 month size dress so once you get your pattern and you download it go ahead and print so the first page when you print is basically like your cover page just some minor instructions and details of the pattern so this is a 12 month size dress we're going to be doing in this video it gives you the chest measurements which is 23 to 24 inches the waist measurements and the length from shoulder to knee of this dress it also lets you know that to finish the collar or the you, you have to measure the neckline of the dress and then cut a piece of fabric times the neckline by two inches okay i know it sounds a little bit confusing i'm going to explain everything to you guys during the video when we're putting the dress together okay and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the pattern pieces so once you print it you're going to print it regular portrait size um copy and print paper so you're going to have about five pieces of pattern paper you'll have a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 so you'll have five pieces of pattern pages printed all together okay i'm just going to go ahead and flip through and show you guys all the pages and i'm going to show you guys how to attach them to each other and how to cut them out it's super super simple i try to make this as easy for you guys as possible okay it took me a while to figure out how to turn my patterns into instant downloads okay and for, for the fact that this is my first time doing this it really was easier than what i thought it took a lot of trial and error but i finally got it right okay this is your last pattern piece which is c1 which is our collar and our sleeve okay now one thing i realized is i forgot to write the size of the of the pattern on every single piece but we can go ahead and do that at the end so just keep in mind if you're purchasing multiple patterns once you print them go ahead and write write the size of the dress piece on every single pattern piece once you attach them together okay but i'm going to show you guys what i mean at the end so first we're going to start with piece a1 and a2 which is the front of the dress okay so you're going to go ahead and you're going to line them up basically how i want you guys to line them up is you're going to line it up by the curve of the dress okay so the drawing on the the pattern that's going to be the one piece of the front of your dress because the dress has two front pieces so this is the the, the, um, the front piece, and you're going to cut out two of these. So we're going to line up the curve of the pattern, okay? That's how I want you guys to line it up. I did notice that I did make a little bit of irregular, ir I'm sorry, irregularities, if that's really a word. <laughs> I'm over here tongue twisting, guys. I did, I did have a little bit of irregularness, okay? <laughs> I'm creating my own words when I was putting it together. How I made the pattern is I, I drew them out on regular copy and print paper, then I scanned it to my laptop, okay? They came out correct, but they do have a little bit like where one side is a little bit uneven, but I'm going to show you guys how to even it out. So basically, when I go up close, I'm going to show you guys how you don't, don't line up the pages, line up the pattern itself. Okay, this is what I mean. You see the curve in the dress. I'm just trying to zoom in for you guys. I'm sorry if my camera loses focus, but I basically you line up the curve right there where the curve is of the pattern is where you line it up. So where the drawing of the pattern is and that curve is, that's where I want you guys to make sure that they match. Okay, 
So don't worry about if the page overlaps a little bit. It's okay as long as that curve is lined up where it's supposed to be or attached correctly to the other paper. So the first one that we put together is A1 and that attaches to A2. And you see how the, pa the paper overlaps a little bit over here? That's okay. And you don't even have to cut that. Just leave it just like that. That's perfectly fine. So we're going to go ahead and just cut out our pattern, okay? Cut out all the extra white and just cut out the pattern by itself. And it's just a pattern that you're going to use for the front pieces of the dress, okay? Super, super simple. You guys are going to be so amazed when you see how easy it is to assemble these dresses and they come out so cute like i get so many orders on these dresses it's ridiculous it's, it's crazy i have to take down my listings or stop accepting orders because people are going crazy over these little dresses okay so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to cut this out and you see how it's written on the pattern 2x front and 2x lining all that means is that you cut two pieces of this pattern for the front of your dress and if your material is thin you're going to go ahead and also cut two pieces for the lining of your dress. And for the lining, you can use any solid color fabric. Like in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the frozen theme dress. So I'm, the colors I'm going to be using for this dress is, is going to be gray and um, powder blue. Okay. So basically the dress itself is going to be gray and the collar and the sleeves is going to be powder blue. Then we're going to put some powder blue ruffles i mean i'm sorry powder blue feathers at the end of the dress to dress it up a bit okay and so that was the first piece that we did so the second piece you're going to line up b1 with b2 and with all of the patterns i do i do um letters and numbers so they all start with a and then from a b c d and so forth and so this is b1 and we're going to attach it to b2 on the side of this it says cut this side on the fold the other piece says on the fold on fold okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to line up this pattern piece to each other remember line it up by the curve of the pattern okay guys it's okay if the paper overlaps a little bit don't worry about it you don't have to cut that just make sure you're lining up the curve of the pattern um to each other okay the so the exact curve line one page the b1 line up that curve exact to b2 okay because that's important so that the pattern comes out correct don't worry about the overlapping fat and paper don't worry about it just go ahead and line up those curves so i'm going to go ahead and tape it together and i forgot to tell you guys the supplies you need i'm sorry the video the video been started but the supplies you need is a pair of scissors of course and then some scotch tape and that's it so just go ahead and go ahead and tape that and i'm just going to go ahead and cut out this pattern piece as well and this is the back base of our dress okay and just like it says we're going to cut this on the fold of the fabric if you're a beginner sewer and you don't know what that means baby girl or a honey bun for, for my gentleman it is okay because your girl gonna teach you all of that that's gonna be in part two of the video when we are cutting out the fabric of this dress this video is just to show you guys how to attach the patterns and put them together because I don't want you guys to go on the website order the patterns and then are completely confused because I honestly did not put any cutting instructions or sewing instructions with this pattern because I knew I was gonna make the videos and for me is I have bought patterns before off of Etsy or even online in general and even though they would put pictures of how to put the item together sometimes I feel like dang I wish somebody was walking me through it step by step because you know you do make mistakes and sometimes a pat a picture and some words is not enough so i opted to not do written instructions but just to make videos because i think that's more that's better for people to understand so now that we finished the second part of the pattern we're going to do the last piece which is c1 and that's our collar in our sleeve and just go ahead and cut those got cut them out just go ahead and cut them out um just basically follow the lines and just go ahead and cut them out and that those pieces are super simple okay so yeah so definitely stick around for part two so you guys can see how i cut this out on fabric okay it's super easy we're going to we're basically going to make the dress together from scratch okay I had made this dress for a customer and I absolutely loved the way that it turned out I said okay when I make the video I want to go ahead and do the frozen theme dress okay so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make that together from scratch and when you guys see how easy it is you're gonna be like girl 
okay? <laughs> you should have been taught us this, okay? But honestly, guys, I didn't have time. I didn't know how to turn my patterns into a digital pattern. I really had to do some brainstorming and figure this out, okay? Thank God for my printer and my cell phone, okay? So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish cutting out the sleeve. And like I said, everything tells you how many pieces of each to cut out, okay? So, there's our collar and there's our sleeve, okay? super super easy guys super super simple if you do have any questions on this just go ahead and leave me a comment on the video or you can go ahead and email me my email is in the bio section of my youtube channel so these are all um, four pieces cut out the back base of the dress the front pieces of the dress and well one front piece and then the collar and the sleeve so we have one more piece to cut which i'm going to show you later on in the third video okay the sewing video, we're going to go ahead and cut the fourth piece, but, I mean the fifth piece, but that's going to be super easy. And this is what I mean. Go ahead and label each piece the size because I forgot to do that and I'm sorry. So none of my patterns, I labeled the size, okay? <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. Like I put the size in the cover page, but I didn't put the size on each of the pieces. So if you're going to be buying more than one pattern size, go ahead and make sure you label each piece what the size is. Just so you don't get them mixed up and you don't end up using the wrong size pieces for the for the you know for a dress. Like you might have a 18 month dress and you might end up using an 18 month sleeve by accident. So just go ahead and label this and put the size on all the pieces, okay? Yeah, so that's about it, guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a pin and poke it in there. And then you guys just go ahead and save the pattern so that you can always continue to reuse them. This is normally how I store my patterns. I cut them out and then I pin them together. And I put them in like a clear container. And they're in this big clear container in my sewing closet. So yeah, so that's it, guys. Super easy. This is how the pattern looks after we cut all of them out. So we have a front piece pattern, back piece pattern, collar, and sleeve. And that's it. So definitely check out the link down below and stay tuned for video number two. Okay, let's make this dress, guys. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. God bless, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.